Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general oracle reading for Gemini for April 2021. Keep in mind this is for sun signs, but also moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. All right, starting off with one from the Angel Answers Oracle. What is the advice and guidance for Gemini for April? All right, so we have two. <laughs> Went right up and over my arm. All right, so we have it's up to you and we have peaceful resolution. All right, so something here is going to be determined by what you put into it, the intentions that you set, how you go about something, and then peaceful resolution. So for some of you, this is about forming um, a peaceful stance or something here materializing, working out, a resolution coming into play. All right, so we'll see how this plays out. I'm going to pull one from the Angels of Abundance Oracle. What else for Gemini? What other advice and guidance do we have? All right, so we have two. We have no more complaining, and then we have face your financial fears. So complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never spir spiritually true. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. And then we have the face your financial fears. When you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. So think about that. Fears of success or failure. This doesn't have to be financial. This could be anything. So take it as it resonates. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. All right, so anything that you feel like maybe has been blocking you in this sometimes are the fears. So think about that it's up to you card. Okay, this is asking you to take control, clear out any blockages, look at anything that has been an inner fear. This could be even unconscious that you don't even realize. So it can be about a light shining in a sense of um, realizations coming to you. All right, so let's see what else comes out. I'm going to pull from Angels and Ancestors Oracle. What else do we have for April for Gemini? All right, Gemini, so we're getting a couple cards for you and we have one more. All right, wow. So Stargazer and Star Ancestor, those are very similar cards. Actually, some of my favorite cards are here. So Stargazer, set your sights higher. All right, so this is asking you to go beyond any limitation. So this limitation um, theme is coming up in this reading so far. Setting your sights higher gets you beyond limitations, blockages, and even beyond where you are right now. So this is saying to reach higher. Anything that you've been hoping that would work out or some kind of goal, if it doesn't work out the way that you had hoped, it's going to be better than you realized. So I am seeing that leveling up energy. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. So Star Ancestor is a Native American term for extraterrestrials. And it is about those out there who are helping and guiding. So pay attention because you're getting messages, synchronicities, repeating numbers, things people are saying, whatever it may be. Follow the voice of your soul. 
Allow yourself to be guided in the right direction without fear. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. We have been going through a lot of changing times over the course of the last year, year and a half. And so things are shifting energetically and we're going from this third dimensional fear, hatred, um, ugly energy, and we're moving into the 5D where that stuff no longer resonates and isn't allowed. It's a higher shift in consciousness. So anything in your life that is changing, you have the talents and abilities to succeed. All right, so we had three cards there. Lots of extra guidance this month. All right, now I'm going to pull three from the Archangel Power Tarot. What does Gemini need to be aware of for April? All right, three of cups. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So three of cups, really what that is, is about emotional support or community support, people who are around you, but it is cups. So it can also represent spiritual support. Three of cups can represent reunions, getting together with people you haven't seen in a while, people who maybe you've known in the past, but they're coming forward again. Um, it is a definite nice sense of support. So let's see what else comes out. Two more. Could be people who you link up with um, that help to bring you to the next level somehow or that you work with. For some of you, even it could be business. So we have the King of Wands. So this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern from others. But the King of Wands is also an energy of taking control. Someone who is supportive. Someone who follows their passions. The fire energy. All right. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. And the Page of Wands. All right, so Ace of Pentacles, it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time, or support. So see, there's that support coming in again. A change in job or promotion. So something with work could be changing for you, going down a different path. Trust your talents in anything that's changing. This Page of Wands, so pages are known as the students of the tarot. It's something that is being worked on or a lesson learned. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. All right, very nice. So seeing this theme building here, support other people around you who come in, who just happen to help move you along to what you're meant to move towards, your tribe, so to speak. All right, angels and ancestors. I'm gonna pull one from Wisdom of the Oracle. All right, Gemini, so we have milk and honey. Yeah, so this is really nice. Milk and honey is about the abundance that's coming in. Um, think about that. There's all this abundance, there's all this change happening. So trust what's changing. Trust that um, whatever is meant for you is going to find you. So if you are going through any changes, just trust what's happening, trust what's coming in. Now this can be even a person who helps to get you to this energy, right? but it is about prosperity and opportunities and being able to be your most authentic self and those opportunities coming in. So pure happiness really is what that's all about. Even at the bottom, there's building blocks. So yeah, I see that with that page of wands energy because it's about putting in the work, the effort, but the page of wands is the student. So think about the student going through the building blocks in order to graduate, so to speak progress. All right, one from Moonology. Definitely a leveling up theme here. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, see? All right, so <laughs> waxing crescent moon. The moon is building to a full moon here. 
So have faith in your dreams. There's still adjustments that are needed or things that need to be worked out before reaching the full moon. But have faith. Be optimistic because things are definitely taking a turn for the better here and prosperity at the end. All right, and I'm going to close this reading up with three more cards. What else for Gemini? What other energies do we need to be aware of? Okay, so we have King. Very interesting. So you have the page, which is the younger of energies, the student, right? And then you have two kings here. So building up to king status. Kings feel like everything has finally worked out, stability, success. That's what the king represents. And the king of wands, generous, inspirational, driven. All right, so we're reaching king status here. Or this is what you're hoping for, to have this success. could also represent somebody who is older, someone who's wise, who is helping you here. So that could be part of this three of cups. Someone who is like a mentor or guide. All right, so let's see. We have a couple cards that flipped over here. So we have night now, very interesting. And we have gypsy soul. So a gypsy soul is somebody who kind of goes from place to place, thing to thing, job to job, whatever it may be, likes their freedom, kind of just moves along, goes with the flow of the wind. But we have this knight who is very driven, fiery here. So I'm seeing more fiery energy with all this red and orange, just like the wands energy. So knights pick their target and they go for it, charging forward. So I am seeing this energy of like, saying charge forward, keep going because milk and honey, prosperity are at the end of this. Someone here could be coming in who just really helps to kind of stabilize things or give you an opportunity, peaceful resolution. I mean, things are working out great. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you wanna follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.